life in 1883 for women in particular. It was very different. There were things that were just completely off the table. As I sit here in this very tight corset that I can barely breathe, what kind of a woman drinks coffee? Oh, I can't wait to hear this lecture on womanhood. Margaret, at the age of 17, was a nurse in the Civil War. You know, you have to have a certain strength about you to be able to make it through that. You've done this before. You nursed in a war. Who didn't? She's not afraid of hard work, and I think she came from that. It's better to double the ladder go with him. I've forgotten more about horses than you'll ever know. It's really exciting as the woman playing Margaret. She's an extraordinary character. She has layers that actually mean something. <laughs> I don't recall the part of our vows that said I need to ask your permission to go somewhere. Elsa's extremely independent at a time when a young woman is not allowed to be independent in such a way. She feels restricted. She just is bursting at the seams and is amazed and enamored with everything around her. When she sees how everyone else is shedding clothing because it's too hot, women walking in pants, she's amazed by how different this world is and she wants to be a part of it. Alina's specifically a seamstress. She knows how to hustle a little bit and so that's how they ended up finding a trade. Her skill set can help Elsa not just dress like an immigrant but have more functionality like a cowboy. What's the matter? I've never seen a woman in pants before. No, I think you're the first. It's this integration into Elsa fully becoming herself. Finally, she, she doesn't have to be what she's supposed to be, what others tell her she needs to be. Risa is a very sweet, gentle woman, and she follows the love of her life to the edge of the world. She shares the same dream of creating a family somewhere in a place that is safe. We both get to Oregon with nothing. How do we make our lives with nothing? This is a transformative journey for her. She starts out being so fearful of life, and then she grows into her own power that she never knew she had, and she becomes a very independent woman and, and also in insanely strong for the people that she loves and cares for. Your turn next. No, no, not me. Yes, you. You will be a cowboy. You be the cowboy. I drive the wagon. Noemi has a long lineage of oppressed people. As a woman, had even less rights, which I think was a big part of why she was on this journey in the first place with her family. I really wanted to understand what it would be like for a woman of Roma background to make choices, her own choices. She might be maybe the first in her lineage to, to do that. Men have no idea what women want. Can't argue that. No why? because they never ask. It is a story about the need for community in a time to survive together and accomplish each other's dreams. In the end, you realize that it is just so important to be able to work together. To see a writing with such strength for a woman is such a gift and so remarkable.